Hey love bugs, it's Riles and make it you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already please you know drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the video just give you a good vibe um that you know uplifts uplift you please go ahead and share it it would be a pleasure for somebody else to go experience that the same and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas when you are making adjustments to your your happiness that um that won't make sense to anybody you know, or some people, you know, I, was, I watched this video, I forgot, oh my God, I forgot to write the, uh, the quote down, but it was like this girl was saying, and I felt that I was on that vibe, on, I was on that frequency, like, come on, sis, go ahead, bring that energy, where you, where you allowing yourself to mold your happiness, and a lot of times, you know, it's not going to make sense to other people, but as long as it makes sense to you, that's all that really matters. You know, you know what you're going on in life. Like I said from the uh, video beforehand, I wasn't going to make videos today because today is my birthday. You know, and it's just like all about reflection. It's, you know, being 45, you know, and really just seeing how life has been. It made me choose about uh, to just to be able to go about how I can create my own happiness. Happiness don't have to be on materialistic things. It could be about how you choose to reflect on things, how you see how life has really changed you for the better instead of allowing yourself to reflect on things that really put you in a, in, in a, in a negative balance or just put you in a place where you know where you you know lost your peace or your you know anything that just triggered you in that way. I got a lightning answer off of that. But uh you know, just really just being able to see things as in life where you don't need to be explaining nobody to your life where you know you choose it, it's your happiness over anything. If it means that you gotta distance yourself from people or it means that you you gonna have to not, you know, be as social as you used to be, and it's okay. You ain't gotta explain your yourself to somebody. It's like, oh, you acting funny or you being this way. Let it be what it be, if that's what you choose to be, if that's what it choose to, you know, where you think it's coming from and I'm not trying to you know do that it's not about where I was is where I'm trying to go it's not what I was at is where I'm trying to become you know you trying to become something but you learn from where you were you see where you where you know if there are certain things you want in your life you're gonna have to get aggressive with it there'll be different times in your life where it, it'll really show you that it makes you think that God is not there for you. Universe is not rooting for you. Because a lot of times you'll see it. I'm a numbers person. I look at numbers all the time. Like, what is this trying to tell me? You know, or I don't look at them so much. I already know. You know, you seeing a certain number is telling you, you know, universe is proud of you. You know, you don't allow yourself to see the glory in everything that you do. You see everything that we done protected you from, where we choked, guided you to reflect from, and being able to create that in something very powerful. And when you're doing that, you're allowing yourself to do that, you're, you're sending that to somebody else. That's just like a chain letter of love, chain letter of, you know, evolution. You know, you cre recreating something that you never thought you could be. You look at how you may have been like a year or two, uh, you know, before this or even about four or five years before that. And you can see where you are now. There probably be, you know, manifest so much daggone, you know, growth in your life and healing in your life. You would have been like, man, heck no. I, wouldn't, I never would have thought that. I would have been laughing. People would have told me my life was going to be this way. Because there will be different times where I look. And I'll laugh like, nah, this ain't my life. Because, you know, I even hear, you know, I even hear my guys like, stop doing that. I'm like, stop doing what? You know we know what you're doing. And I'm like, man, look, I'm still trying to soak this all in. This is what my life is consist of. This is what I'm doing. You know, I made my life meaningful because it's like before, you know, no matter what I did, it was just like something that was like a... Uh, 
a honeymoon phase. You know how it is, like, if you're in a relationship, like, ooh, you know, I hope you don't wonder if you thinking about me. I wonder if she thinking about me. You know, if you're going to call me later, you know, going to hit me up, going to give me that text good night, you know, or hit me in the morning, hey, how you doing, you know, different stuff like that got you all giddy. And after a couple of months, like, man, look. I ain't about to look at that phone. If they call me, I don't feel like talking. You know, it'd be like one of them things that we're not filtered out. It, you know, like it's done, son. You just trying to be able to see how you can exit stage left. Yeah, and I went, I said right, but I'm talking about stage left. And, you know, sometimes you don't been in situations where you stage left. Like, but, boo, you at the right, okay? And now you get my prank. <laughs> I'm in the South, so you say you get my prank. Yes, it, you know, went straight left, you know, and really been there. But then it's just like where you can really allow yourself like, man, I don't re I really added some growth in my life. You know, there'll be days that I'm, you know, I'm sad or I may feel depressed, but I'm allowing myself to feel that. I'm allowing myself to be honest with myself, honest with my, my emotions. You ain't got to sit up here and be trying to sugarcoat something for somebody else on how they how they going to reflect on what you're doing. This is what you're doing to better you. If they smart, they'll be doing the same thing. Like, oh, you got you on that new thing with the new thing thing? Yeah, I'm on that new thing. Well, boo, okay, let me, is there something you can tell me? Because I'm trying to get on that too. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be able to tell you what the new flex is. And being able to push that out. But there's going to be a lot of times people are not going to understand that. And it's just like sometimes people are okay. I, I've seen people that still be stuck in that same stuff they were doing five years ago. And it's just like not even... To criticize or anything or just looking at somebody funny I'm like baby I'm trying to bring more to my life I can't be doing that you know because I remember it was just like back in the day you know when me and my homegirls used to get off of work you know we were gonna be like girl you know you got five on it you got five on it go ahead and hit one and bring us something to drink it's like okay you got the you know you got the herb we gonna bring the money and I, we bring okay and I bring the bottles and we would just sit over here and be just laughing and talking about what happened at work and God gossiping about that now I'm just like you can't even pay me to do some mess like that because they ain't even me you know and not to you know say that about anybody else but it's just the fact is you know I just don't I choose not to do those different things anymore and it is just like it allowed me to see how much my life has really truly changed it really showed me how much I've evolved you know how I'm how I appreciated myself on every level and that's what they want you to do is never look down or be ashamed of you know the things that you used to do or who you used to hang out with or the choices the activities you used to do but just be able to appreciate yourself on every level because you manifested that even if it was a manifest of a whole hot mess you still manifested that but then it gets to that point where you know you get to that that vibration where you know what I want better in my life and then what do I have to do to be able to create that and let me be consistent with it I was the type of person I was I had a bad habit of starting things and not being able to finish it and now it's like that point like you know you want to create better you got to be able to do better you have to be able to speak better be able to see everything as that opportunity to grow to heal to know better about yourself you are evolving within yourself that's why we doing you know you hybrids <laughs> you know you are a hybrid of hey okas and so you built different you know, and it's not about saying, oh, we better than somebody else. No, you were just built different. You, everybody has a purpose and everybody's purpose is different. What means for you ain't going to mean for the next person. But it's just at that point where you, now you see where, you know, your issues is. You may be that person that it's hard for you to forgive somebody. So you've been in that funk and you're wondering why certain things has happened because you didn't forgive or you could have been that person where you didn't let go you know all these different things you allowed yourself to always see things in a negative way instead of being what is this trying to teach me like why does this keep happening to me instead of saying what does the universe want me to learn what is this you know I'm trying to bring happiness in my life and it's just always chaotic or you know why do you know I be in this funk all the time and just want a friend and people keep leaving me? Then you know, and I used to be that way, and it was just like, do you think maybe they don't want to be listening to all that negative stuff you got going on? You know, being able to think about positive things and not be on that same that same line, you know. And I'm at that that time where, 
you creating a new story for yourself. You know, I've been through some stuff, but now I'm on some new, new stuff. You know, I'm thinking about what can bring positivity in my life. What can take me to that next level? I want to be in a peaceful situation. You know, being able to understand there are going to be certain days where my, my, my life is going to be topsy-turvy and go Willy Wonka all over the place. But then that's going to be that thing where if I'm not allowing myself to take it to heart and being able to see that this is, is teaching me. Because we're learning life lessons through the good and the bad. And we, when we allow ourselves to say, you know what, this is what I needed, you know, I'm going to be grateful. I may not feel grateful for it now. I maybe, you know, really want some choice words with God at this time, you know. But these are the different things that, you know, it'll be a time where he constantly telling me he working my life out. He making crooked straight. He making the low moments to my high heights, you know, my shadow moments to be that infinite glow up. But this is that, that time when we want to manifest these things. We have to be able to put in the work. It, the work ain't going to be doing it on its own. This is where we have to choose to. Because a lot of times we feel like our manifestations aren't happening. Okay, if the manifestation is not happening, are you doing the work? Yeah, I'm doing the work. But are you believing in what you're doing? Maybe that's the problem. You know, you, you ain't believing in what's going to happen. Because of the things that's taking place and not truly understanding the things I had to be at that point with myself, you know, do you realize, okay, when you're, you're, you're writing this down, what you're writing, when you're putting your thoughts down, that's a goal. When you initiating a goal, you creating that dream to manifest into the trail of favor and not realizing when you put that out to the universe and saying, I got that insight that you downloaded and that upgrade and you've been getting many of them lately. Even through dreams or even when you could be talking and you just went through thought like, hey, are you here? No, not for that second. I'm going to dick a quantum leap. I'm back. You know, and then it'll be just like you're not realizing even through those hardship is manifesting you prepare for what they promise. Manifest you prepare because a lot of times we get mad because we go through so much and it's just like we got to have that mindset like it is what it is. It's a small thing to a giant. Yeah, this this got me pressed for a minute, but it's, it's, it's bringing a pro, uh, press to prosper. You know, that pain giving a purpose, you know, that 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 struggle is giving a reason, you know, to that infinite season. And all those different things, you're creating that happiness where it is going to leave people that is just like, you know what, man, I'm so proud of you. Because I remember when you used to go through this and they ain't throwing your past in your face, but they knew you was totally different from then than you are now. You know, and it's not, you know, like I said before, even with your changes, it's not, it, it unhumbled you. Put it that way, it don't really humble you. So even if there's people that's still doing the same thing, you can't judge nobody. You, we have a bad habit of always judging people. Whether we on that healing vibe, we feel like everybody else need to be healing, but we can't force somebody to do that if they're not ready to. Because there's times that people say, "Girl, you need to heal. A oh, man, you need to heal." You know, I'm seeing how you dealing with your problems and it's not good. You you self medicating. You know, through all these different things, you can tell somebody that that's where that seat, that's where your light work is coming in. Where you telling people if they don't want to do it, you got to put that seed out and just allow yourself to say, "Hey, I'm gonna see you on that journey." You know, maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I'm on my journey of healing myself. I'm on my journey of wanting better in myself, and I see the same thing for you, and I definitely want the same for you. And man, I'm gonna pray for you. I mean, there, a lot of times people be thinking you being uppy about that. For me, I mean, no, I'm, I'm being real, you know, because I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to need to because if I don't, I'm going to be in jail, you know. But now I'm just like, I'm going to pray for you because I know you're dealing with some stuff that is is out of my understanding, you know, and being able to let it do what it do. You know, and it's just like you'll notice the changes in your life. It could be phone calls where you'll see a certain name come up. And it'll, it'll be a certain thought or even a certain song will come up where you see where it'll bring up a certain situation or a certain person and remembering it. But it's not like not remembering in a negative way. But, you know, you making choices it's like, yeah, this person calling me to get up in my business and trying to see how much I progress or this person trying to rub in my face how far they gotten because they feel in some kind of way about the things that I got going on for me. You know, or this person, hey, let me pick up this phone. You know, this this person helping me to get to that next opportunity. This person trying to see me flow. Are they trying to get me to that next level because they manifesting? 
and they there. I'm trying to get the way they are, and they trying to help me because you don't realize every person that's in your life is there to help you in some kind of way. That means that me there there's people in there to deceive you, to lie to you, hurt you, love you, teach you, you know, or take you to that next level. You know, be that gift that you weren't even expecting. Just when you allowed yourself to be humble to yourself, but been nurturing and being very like you've been holding your boundaries to yourself. If you say, oh, I'm going to go ahead and meditate this morning and go ahead and do a 30 minute workout and you stay consistent with that. That means that you you won't break promises to yourself. And, you know, like I said, I've been that type of person where um, I didn't hold my, my bond with my, myself. You know, and it's just like, you know, even though you ain't lying to nobody else, but it's just like, don't make promises. You know, you can't even keep with yourself, so don't make that promise with somebody else. And, you know, and I had to be able to do it that way. But just being able to allow myself to see how much my nurturement for my peace of mind, be able to strengthen my character, being able to allow myself to prepare allow myself when you know you're ready to get to that next level you got to be able to get comfortable being uncomfortable expect the unexpected even when you're doing good there will be certain things that's going to really challenge that and you have to understand you know a lot of times we get mad and we try to figure out where God at because I'm doing everything he asked me to do but where God at because a lot of times you know I had to hear that this morning I was listening to a sermon this morning that hit me hard but it, it was a good hit me hard because a lot of times God will step up when he when he trying to show you this is the people you need to stop dealing with because they'll start showing you, you know, different things where dad, why couldn't I, I didn't see this before. And then it had to be, you, you had to learn that, you had to go through that situation. You had to experience that. You had to see them red flags you chose to ignore. You had to see the choices that you choose not to take. You The red flags that we tried to tell you about and you, you know, you kept doing you and made excuses about it. But now it came to that point where you know you tired of being tired. You tired of going through that repetitive recycle vibration. Now you learn it. You had to go through those things. You know, when you know you're ready to be in a solid situation with your life, with you know where you're trying to be successful in your life, you already know there's gonna be certain times you you can't hang out with the fellas, you can't hang out with the girls, you can't be going to shopping and all that junk, you know, uh, or you know going to game play or whatever it is. There'll be different times where you got to, you know, save your money up because you're trying to, you know, start your own website. You're trying to get this merch or whatever you got going on. Or this is that time where you got to be in isolation because you're trying to make moves that you ain't, you know, you ain't ready to, you know, tell the world yet. You got some serious stuff you're trying to do. Or there'll be different times where you have to just be in that vibration where you're trying to reflect. You know, you're trying to see where you at in life, where you're trying to go, what moves you're trying to take. You know, and being able to learn and soak everything in like a sponge because it's taking you there. It's allowing you to see what you need to digest and change in you, what you had to really go into that bat for you. This is at that point where there's going to be a lot of times, you know, people are just not going to get what you're doing. But sometimes it's not going to matter. And you know what? Well, well, I think it ain't going to matter anyway. Because there will be different times where people on that same vibe with you, they're going to understand. Where people see that you're trying to better yourself and they see that you ain't really, you know, sociable like you are. You know, they'll understand. You know. And they'll be on their own thing. And probably it's just like, shoot, man, I ain't taking it personal. I've been on my own grind too. I'm trying to get better in life. I'm trying to be where you at, folks. You know, I'm trying to be like that. You know, I've been like that with different people where we don't talk like that. Like, man, shoot. You know, they be like, Roz, you know, I ain't call you. I'm like, baby, I'm over here doing my thing too. I ain't taking that personal. You know, it's like, hey, you know, when we when we get our when I get our time free, you know, we can be able to uh we were able to link up like that and let it do what it do. And, you know, and it'll be cool. But, you know, this is at that time when you making, you know, critical choices in your life where you know your energy's critical. There'll be certain things you ain't going to entertain no more. Be certain things that people will say and do. And you ain't even going to allow yourself to give it one thought. You're like, oh, okay, that's where you at. You still be in it. Oh, okay. You know, and be all, you know, hey, I'm going to let it do what it do. All right, it is what it is, a small thing to a giant. Or be different things, as soon as I said that the light going to change and stuff like that. Be different things in your life that is really going to trigger you. It's going to, you know, the devil know your weak spots and so is God. But this is at that time where he's even testing you on your weak spots to be able to see, are you still going to be consistent with me? Are you still going to be happy with me even though I'm making you mad? 
And you're going to still be grateful for me, even though it's just like I'm really going through stuff where it's going to really reject your spirit. You know, all these different things in life is taking place to help you be a better person. And when you know you strict and you, you setting boundaries with yourself to be in that vibration of happiness and you know what you deserve and you know where you're trying to go to and in places that you know you ain't never touched and trying to be qualified for things you never knew you qualified for, you're going to be doing some things a lot of people ain't going to understand. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Elf on her shelf, uh, Nathan uh, Stevens, uh, Neiman um, Hen uh, Zuigen. I hope I pronounced that uh, right. It sounded like it's German, so I hope I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, but much love to you. You know, whatever you're trying to work on in life, you know, um, that you're trying to manifest manifest into your fruition. You know, I'm sending so much uplifting vibes towards yourself. You know, stay consistent with yourself. Even when things don't look like it's going for you, it is making moves for you you didn't know about. So please stay persistent and consistent. You know, the enemy tr may try to make you forgive, uh, you know, give up today just because they know he, he know you will magnify tomorrow. So you keep on going. You never know when your 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 door opportunity gonna come knocking and it's gonna come bust wide open. It that nobody can shut. So stay persistent and consistent. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, five frequencies. You never know all those things can really take somebody to the next level. And it can, you know, take them a long way. And just for you taking that time out to do that, it can take you a long way as well. And um if you know this is coming towards the weekend, like I said, please be safe. And responsible at everything you do. And I love y'all. Y'all see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.